So we always like to play something. What shall we play? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and attention. This is a recap of composing in pentatonic parallel, selecting scales. Today we have been working down this list. We're in the process of updating our reference scales, starting with the scores. One idea was to select two of them for our compositional idea of a shadow and a projection. And the idea was, well, maybe the dissonant scale would be a shadow or a light shining, and then the consonant scale would be the, the shadow. Yeah, there's that one. Then it, we realized that we needed to double check our further our consonants calculations. And the really interesting thing that popped up out of doing that was that if we looked at not only a scale, like the 63111, but if you looked at the full tonality scale when you put them together, you're getting a intervals of 333111. So the consonants average of that scale was 1.2. But when you looked at all the broken up intervals, it got a higher consonance at 1.5. It was astonishing. And down here, this scale, which was 2552, had a high average consonance. But when you broke it down into all its pieces, you got a lower consonance. This was astonishing to us. So it made us go make a graph. And here's all eight scales across the bottom in order of increasing consonants from 3663 to 2552. That's the blue line. And then what it shows is if you calculate the full consonants in red, sometimes the full consonants is higher and sometimes, most of the times, it's lower. Here it's almost the same right about there. And here's the difference. So we tried to use this to pick scales to compose in. We said, well, we'll pick 3663 and we'll pick 4554. And then we went and we're updating all these charts and surprise, 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 there are no full tonality chords in 4554. Well, it wasn't a total surprise. We'd actually figured this out way back when. Where is it? Here it is. Tonality chords, none. So we said, uh oh, revisit our ideas. So uh, we're going to pick a different scale. So that kind of bounced us back from just updating two scale areas. So we've been updating more than one. And uh, one of the things we decided to do was, in addition to just having a scale, this is the normal way we were showing things. We said, let's, let's start from the lower middle note and jump to the upper uh, this is the middle note below the root and then go all the way up the scale hit hit the middle note in the middle and then hit the middle note on the octave and we feel like that gives us a better way to um, compare the flavor across these scales so along the way we realized we were going to update 2662 and we did and lo and behold there were more chords in there than we were showing in our reference sheet. Ironically, we had found them and used them in Pulse Story, so we felt good about that. And anyway, the results are we've updated three reference scores, including 2662, and we're starting work on the fourth. And what we'll do is complete showing uh, this idea of the different flavors of the scale. So here is the one we're working on that needs lots and lots of updates. Anyway, you can kind of hear what that sounds like. And then if we march backwards, this is what this sounds like. And you can you can hear how much 
more by pulling it into a two octave stretch with the scale in the middle and beginning and ending on the neutral note you can kind of f feel the flavor much easier now this is a different flavor and one of the things that makes it different is its center note is an a flat instead of an a then we come back to 3663 which sounds like this Now, interestingly, 4554 four, four begins and ends on an A. If I could only select the entire measure, please, thank you. Like this. Compare that with this. You hear there's a difference. So, that's what we've accomplished today, and we have our next steps identified, get going on 2552, and we've discovered interesting things in reviewing and updating our, our reference sheets, uh, and interesting new techniques to help us select across the scales. So we'll still be working on selecting scales and using this idea of listening to the aural palette flavor of a two octave range. Thank you for your time and attention. Look forward to seeing you again next time, and as always, keep on streaming.